Well, hello, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, a sorcery mod. This is just on vanilla gameplay, and I wanted to do an episode on just using the spell casts and the spells that go along with them, um, and why you should spend points maxing them out and their benefits. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, here's my, my conjurers right here. You're definitely going to want to get these set up and uh, smelting down as much of the essence as possible. Um, so level one, two, three, four, and five. Um, so you can see I have some going down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more level one. And you're definitely gonna wanna do a lot of mining, um, hitting boulders, getting trees, maybe even start a tree farm um, because you will be going through the essence. You're gonna want lots of essence. Okay. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start off with fire because it, it's my favorite. Um, I do have it loaded down with runes, and each of the runes has its own benefit. Um, I'm going to give a quick little rundown. You, there's five dots, but there's really only three levels. The one, the three, and then the five. Um, and each one uh, just obviously gives a, a bigger boost. Um, so you have the lightning strike spell cast. And this one will occasionally, because this is level uh, two, this one will occasionally strike your foe with lightning when landing a direct spell. Um, and then it has some spirit burden, and spirit uh, is like your energy uh, for casting spells. Then your firestorm here, so this is the level one, and it says it seldomly conjures a firestorm on your foe when you land a direct spell. Um, and again, the spirit burden. Then I have the deep freeze, and again, that's the uh, second level, so it occasionally deep freezes the foe when landing a direct spell. And then I have lightning strike at the third level, so it's maxed out, and it frequently strikes the foe with lightning. And uh, you can have one of each level of the same um, rune. So I have the level two and the level three. I could also have a level one lightning strike and just increases uh, the chance is that much more that I will, I will hit lightning as well. The Alton's Touch is a really nice one because there's a chance to hit uh, with an extra fire, ice, or spell. Um, and you get that as a reward request you, uh, quest item. So you get like three of those. So you can put them in your regular mundane weapons. I also have one in my Iron Reinforced Club because it, it works on melee weapons as well. It'll even work on guns and bows. Um, so that's a really good room to have. Okay, so back back to fire here. Um, so the very first thing and the main reason I really like the fire is the very first bonus you can get with that is the cauterize the wounds on spell casting. So let, let me demo how that works. You see how um, I'm at full health right now, 170. Okay, so I'm going to uh, oh hurt myself, hurt myself again. Okay, so I'm down to 138. All I have to do is cast a spell or hold it down and watch my health go up. It is spectacular. So when you're fighting and you're just, you know, casting the spell every time you charge it up, it'll start healing you each and every time. So as you're fighting off the horde or or just uh, random zombies, every time you cast that fire spell, whoops, uh, you're gonna heal up. And if you notice, it also heals your max health. Okay. I never use bandages. You don't need to. Now, you do need health potions. They give you the quick health boost real fast, and uh, that's for a, a different topic, but the health potions are certainly helpful for gaining back uh, lots of health real fast so that is the very first boost um, that I really really enjoy the second one let me get back up on here is move with blazing speed now I'm not gonna lie the blazing speed might be a little exaggeration but so here's sprint normal sprinting speed okay now if I hold down the right mouse button and sprint it is definitely faster. Um, and occasionally, while using 
uh, the fire spell cast and w when you land a spell sometimes you'll get a temporary movement uh, speed boost and that really is fast um, so again uh, uh, just enhanced movement speed is, is pretty handy okay the third is the fire flight so fire flight on jump while channeling and I use this so so much so for instance if you notice there is no way up to my base there's no ladders there's nowhere to step there's no secret tunnel to get in but when I hold down the right mouse button and uh, jump look at that jump ability so that is a really super nice perk and let me just show you another advantage of that you need to get away from a bunch of zombies that are just beating away at you super jump up no need to use the uh, nerd pole method up with the blocks I mean look at that very handy way to move around and to get away from a bunch of zombies trying to kill you uh, super super helpful um, and it allows you to build a base like this where you have no way up um, it's actually pretty cool all right and uh, the uh, empower the fire stacks empower you that's just that's too hard to demo i'm not even sure exactly how that affects you um but the meteor land that's the last one you have to max it out for that explode on landing a fire flight so you saw me jumping around so let me uh let me find where that screamer was because i heard her and i will demo how that oh she died bummer okay I'm going to find a zombie, and I'm going to show you how the Fire Flight Meteor Land works. And there's no zombies around. What are the odds? Seriously. There's like no zombies. Okay, there's a zombie. Okay. Here's a couple of zombies here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the empowered jump by holding down the right mouse button but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button all the way down until I land and land near him and that's what it does it actually will knock everybody down and it's a way of causing damage without actually hitting them so I'm gonna do this to this guy too land right next to him knocks them all down so if there's a nice crowd of zombies, let me go ahead and get these guys together. Hey, 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 over here. Wow, you guys are super slow. Okay, I'm going to get them together here. And I'm going to land right in between them. Knocks them both down. So that is a very handy spell. Spell usage. Not die. There he goes. Okay. So I'm going to get my spells back real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to the base. I will use that blazing speed and the super jump ability to kind of clear this. And look at that. All there. Okay. So that, in a nutshell, is the advantages of the fire spell cast and, and why I like it so much. Um, and then, of course, the spells that go with it. All right, so let's move on to the lightning spell cast. So the strike, um, command lightning bolts from the sky. So on hits, you will get an extra hit. It's extra lightning coming down from the sky. Um, it is random, um, but it does do more damage. Um, and it allows uh, more zombies to be hit as well because it can cause chain lightning. Um, but that one is very handy. The next is the teleport. So I'm going to go ahead and get the lightning on here. So with the teleport, this one's a little bit tricky. You have to hold down the right mouse button. You kind of get that electric charge. Okay. And as you're going forward, hit the sprint button and you teleport. And you can see the little flashing timer on the left. There is a cooldown for it. So starting it teleporting 
another really good way to travel around the map. So typically what I do is I'll just be sprinting, and as soon as the timer is up, I'll hold down the right mouse button, let go of sprint, and then retouch sprint. And boom. All right, pretty, pretty handy. All right, energy shield. So again, holding down this right mouse button, this is an energy shield. It will absorb some of the damage incoming, especially from things that are thrown at you or shot at you. So um, for ex uh, example, the uh, spit vomit from the vultures or from the cops, this will reduce the damage taken. Um, and also the fallen and awakened, when they shoot you, it'll absorb some of the damage. Not a whole lot, so don't get cocky. Uh, but if you're standing in a corner, trapped in a corner, um, and they're just beating on you, this will absorb some of that damage for you. All right, so let's get that one back on there. Um, and again, the lightning stacks empower you, so that is something that I, I can't show you, unfortunately. Um, and then the shock and awe, so the charge teleport energy shield. So basically the energy shield working right now, as well as my uh, teleport. So those just are combined at the same time. Um, but lightning is, is really good for that travel. Um, and the, some of the spells are really nice too with that chain lightning. Uh, you can really drop a lot of zombies in a short amount of time uh, with some lightning spells. Okay, let's go to the ice spell cast. So this one, the first one is the slow metabolism on spell casting. So basically, you're out in the world. Um, you know what? I don't have any ice spells on me, so let me fix that real quick. Okay, um, so you're out in the world, you know, just doing what you're doing, fighting zombies. Your hunger and your thirst go down. Well, as you cast a spell, you get a nice little boost. The spell cast passive here. Um, so this will increase your resistance to cold, uh, to cold weather. Um, super handy to have if you're starting off in a snow biome. Uh, all you have to do is travel with your uh, ice spell cast and you'll never get too cold. Um, same thing when you're traveling like in the desert. Um, you can use the the ice spell cast um, or the fire spell cast, and, and it'll help with your heat and cold resistance. So another advantage to using the spell casts. Uh, so with ice again, you have the whole channeling. You can kind of hear it, but I don't know that I am maxed out in ice mastery. Um, I am not. So let me go ahead and spend the one point so I cannot demo that one very good actually so you want to make sure that each of your spell casts are maxed out to get all of the benefits so going back to the fire spell cast the very last mastery down here is the one that empowers you to land with the meteor super handy the ice spell cast ooh, somebody's in trouble um so once you get enough points in this one, that is when uh, you can also create an ice shield. And anybody who's hitting you while you're using the ice shield will take massive damage. Um, and, and it can really help you out. And then with the lightning spell cast, uh, again, the last one allows you to do that teleport with the energy shield. Um, and it is uh, very handy for uh, staying alive. But after all of that, my favorite one definitely is the fire spell cast. And now I want to demo some of these spells for you with the fire spell cast. So besides the regular everyday fire that you start with, um, and charging it up is always a good idea. Uh, you actually have different choices of spells by holding down the R button. You have your fire NATO, which is your level uh, two spell and then your level three spell which is the meteor so let's go find ourselves some victims over here it's usually not too hard to find zombies unless you've uh, cleared out the area recently 
Okay. But I have not cleared out this recently, I don't think. So let's start it off. Oh, well, or maybe I have. There's nobody left alive. Oh, you know what? There is somebody here. There they are. Okay. So, your regular spell does some nice AoE damage, a little bit of splash damage. Those are the perks of uh, having those runes on the spell cast. Ooh, missed them. All right, so I'm going to change over to the Fire Nato. And there is a glitch. It won't shoot the Fire Nato first thing, so you want to switch off and back on. All right, so this is going to be the Fire Nato. Causes a, uh, causes a little fire tornado, which will burn. Started burning the guy next to him, too, which is kind of nice. But now for my favorite, the Meteor. So let's take out Edgar over there. You don't charge this one up, that's just fully charged. Drops a Meteor from the sky. And how cool is that, right? Alright, let's find the rest of them. Let's, uh, let's come out in the street so we can see them. And get a really good... Oh, fast one. Alright. And, when it's maxed out, occasionally you get that follow-up fireball. Or meteor. Oh, yep. Ah. And, unfortunately, you cannot retrieve them. Um, I hit them with the regular fire spell, so that's what I just picked up. It is a little bit of an overkill when you have just one zombie, but... It's still fun to do. Super fun to do. Okay. Now, I'm going to choose the lightning. I'm going to do the first type first. Again, you do want to max it out. It does help. So real basic damage. But still kills them. So let's find some more zombies. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to demo... I'm going to get up here first. So there's going to be zombies within reach. So the second spell type on here uh, is, is super handy to have. All you have to do is shoot this one off. You don't even have to aim at anything. Oh, I didn't change it, so here it goes. And anybody who's within range will get hit, of, hit with that. It actually doesn't seem like there are any zombies in there, so let's go... To another building where there are zombies. Man, you can tell I've really run around here and wiped them all out. They haven't even respawned yet. Alright, so let's go in Poppin' Pills, because that is always a good spot. There they go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is see if I can gather up a few of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. When they get over here, let's gather them all around here. Oh, he's a runner. He's a runner. He's eager. All right. So I'm just going to cast it near them. And that hits all of them surrounding me. Very handy, especially that shock damage. It can stun them and slow them down from chasing you. Obviously very, very good for crowd control. And I know this spell is a favorite of, of many, many players that play this mod. Um, one of the other advantages is it does go through walls. So, for example, there should be some in the bathroom back here. Yep. I'm actually hitting them through the door. But 
they all are dead. Look at that. Pretty handy. All right. So now I'm going to wake up uh, these guys here. Oh, a couple of runners in there. So what I'm going to do is get them outside and do a lightning spell. Lightning storm. All right. So I'm going to wait for the first ones to come out. Okay, there he goes. Look at that, and just lightning bolts from the sky. It's going to follow him for a little bit. Not quite as powerful as the meteor, but... Whoops. You do definitely have to hit them, though. Anybody who's within that range will get struck by those lightning bolts. So I'm going to try to get them all kind of kited here together. See, he walked into the storm. And there he goes again. He walked into the storm again. Nope, and he died from it. Great sound effects, great visuals, uh, really good stuff there. All right. Now, unfortunately, I, uh, or did I bring, I did. I do have all the ice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and wake up more zombies. Okay. That should wake them up. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over. To the very first or the second one, I guess. And this does some pretty good damage on them, actually. And can slow them. It's not very good for crowd control. It's just good for a good amount of damage. But. Let's switch over to the. Ice Storm. And you can see that actually is starting to do icicle falling damage and slows them down. Again, really good for crowd control. And a decent amount of damage as well. Oh, and I am out of those, so I'm going to switch back to this in the Meteor. Let's see if I can finish them off. Cool, went up another level. Oh, and the follow-up. Knocked him down, didn't kill him. Just the stun. So let's do the Lightning Storm. See if that kills him. Nope. Nope. Still working. Let's do the last uh, fire nato. Actually, that was the meteor again. It's a nice little vanilla bug there. But that is all of the spells in a nutshell. Let me go ahead and get where it's safe here. Hopefully there's no zombies up here. All right. So there you go, quick little video on uh, some of the spellcast masteries, uh, with the exception of the ice, I didn't have that one all the way maxed out, but um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of info on uh, the spellcast masteries and the spells, and you can find the gameplay that uh, fits you best. Alright, thanks a lot for joining, and uh, always subscribe and, and stay tuned for more how-tos about sorcery. Thanks for joining.